When a test fails in Selenium, we're able to see a stack trace. And in this video, I will show you how to add a stack trace to extend reports. This is Marco Cruz and you're watching Automate Now. Let's dive in. Before I begin, I just want to let you guys know that the code that you're about to see here is freely available for you to download at github.com. Just check the link in the video description to learn more. And here we have this method called onTestFailure. This is part of TestMG, the iTestListener interface. What this method does is that it takes a screenshot anytime that a test fails. I have made a video on this before. You can check that in the video card above. So let's see what this method is doing here. So I want to draw your attention to this part right here. This is what this video is about. Notice that the first thing that we do is to take a screenshot of the failed test. Then we go ahead and do this part right here. This is all about a stand report. And notice that right here, we're logging this message. It says test failure. And we're adding the screenshot of the failed test. Let's have a look at what that report looks like right now. And this is what the report looks like. We have the name of the test that failed along with the screenshot. And we have this log message that says test failure. What we want to do now is to add the stack trace to this area right here. Let's go back to the code to implement that. And it's very simple to do that here. All we have to do is to change this line right here. Instead of having this string, we're going to delete that and we're going to use this parameter right here from itest result. We're going to grab this and put it down here. And we're going to say dot get throwable. And this is what is going to give us the stack trace. Then we are attaching this part to the stand report logs. Let me go ahead and run a new test that is going to fail so that we can take a look at the new report. My test failed, so I'm going to scroll over here on the left and I'm going to find this HTML document. This is the extent report. I'm going to click this, go to open in, and then browser and select Chrome. Do you notice anything different in this report? Yes, this is the part that we added. This is the stack trace. And this can be very helpful when you're trying to debug your tests. If you would like to learn how to debug your tests in Selenium, check out the video card above. I've made a comprehensive video showing you step-by-step -step how to debug your Selenium tests. This was just a quick video, and I hope it was clear enough for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I make every effort to get back to every comment or question that I receive. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.